Hello everyone, this is John from Section 8 is Great. I know you guys want a live video, but I want to come to you guys to check out the snow and everything. I'm about to take you on a tour in one of my houses that just, the tenant just left, a Section 8 tenant. So we're gonna go in and check it out and see how it looks. Let's go. Okay, so this is one of the houses that I purchased for about $10,000, about eight years ago. Came in here and turned on all the lights. So I want you guys to look right here. When I first walk in, this is the living area. And remember I told you about what kind of carpet I use. You see snow on the ground because I just walked in. Let me get close. This is commercial carpet. Now I had this carpet in here about eight years. It's still okay. I might clean it, I might replace it. Okay, this is the living area. The tenant decided to put a back uh, an air conditioned window in there or something like that. As I walk in the kitchen, Remember I told you, I don't use laminate or anything on the tiles if you get the book. I don't use laminate. I might have to replace this air filter right there. But I use tile because I can just clean it up and go. Let's look over at the fixtures. On all Section 8 properties, they mostly require you to have a refrigerator. So that's a refrigerator right there, unit right there. And they kept it on. So everything still seems to be worked. They emptied it out. Look at it. We're not doing any marble cabinets or anything else or any lamp. We're just doing some plain old countertops right here. Everything is over here. Look, the stove, a basic oven, nothing else, okay? I want you to look at the fixtures. It's nothing to spot. I didn't go for the cheapest fixture, but this fixture cost me about $49. Remember I told you about the lights that I use. That's a $7 light at Home Depot. And you're going to see the theme of that light going throughout the entire house. See it up there too. All right. Look right here. Look at the color. One color is the same color throughout the house. Now I'm going to have to have to have to have this house repainted, but it's one color. Look at the living room. The same color throughout the house. The same color. Look at the light fixture in the hallway. The same thing. Look at the doors. These are $29 doors at Home Depot or Menards, wherever you get it. $29 doors. Here's the bathroom. A basic toilet. The floors. I'm going to have to replace that heater vent right there, it looks like. I'm going to have to caulk the edges or something like this and get it back ready. Look right here at the mirror. I put this tile background so I can just clean it and go. I see I'm going to have to come up there and get something else. That's only going to cost me about $20. Look at the shower fixture. It's still good. Look at the toilet. Everything's still good. I'm going to have to seal that. Seems like they probably put a little touch on it. Look at these wool doors right here. That's still good. Now this door is gonna come out this security deposit because they put a hole in this door right here. That's no big deal, $29, okay? It's gonna come out the $1,000 security deposit. One bedroom, this is the one bedroom. Remember I told you about we always have to have multiple bedrooms, I mean three bedroom homes. So look at the carpet theme runs inside the whole house. The same carpet. We got windows, same light fixture, a closet. I use these kind of closet doors right here. And I wouldn't use any glass or anything else like that because we just put them back on track and go. So everything looks good so far. Got a smoke detector up there. Another bedroom we're going into. Look at it. They changed this. They seem like they put their own little fan up here. So I'm going to replace it and put down that. And I'm going to take that out there as security deposit because I want to keep it all themed so they change that on their own. Look right here, the same doors, the same carpet, the same paint. Look at the theme. We're missing the smoke detector right in here. This door looks pretty good so far to me. So I'm appreciative of the door. Let's go up to the third bedroom. This is a unique house because it has one bedroom upstairs. Let's look at it. The same lighting I told you about. Same closet, it's not too big of a room. The same door. Let's see if I have any damage on this door. I have some damage on the wall right here. But you talk about Section 8 tenants mess up your house. I don't see any of that right now. I just see me having to come through painting and that. Let's show you the little basement. This is not really a basement. This is just some place. The furnace is still here. The water heater is good. The water meter. This is a hookup for washer and dryer that you can include, but it, you know, so they have a hookup for washer and dryer. 
They have the dry holes in the meter box right here. I might have to change this light thing right here. But other than that, they left the house in pretty good tip. This is a Section 8 tenant, and people are telling me that Section 8 tenants mess up your house. I haven't seen it yet, so tell me I haven't seen it yet. All right. Other than that, how do you feel about this house? I want to thank you all, all you guys for supporting Section 8. This, 10, this is just one house. I'm going to show you how much it costs me to finish it. It's not going to cost me much. I'm going to get one of my crew members to come paint the walls, probably about $200. I might clean the carpet, might replace it. I see some things. In order to get this house back rented, this is January. In order to get it back rented on February, it's going to cost me about three dollars or $400, $500 at the top. And, and about 300 that's going to come out the tenant security deposit. So I might miss a month, but I'm going to get a long-term tenant. I'm going to rent it for $1,011, $1, $1,200 a month for Section 8. We're going to see how it goes. Thanks. Um, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. This is cold in Chicago right now, in the Chicago area. It's about 1 degree outside in the morning. It's early in the morning before I start my other stuff. It's around 7 o'clock in the morning. You should get this around 10 o'clock your time. I want to thank you guys for supporting Section 8 is great. For logging in and getting um, talking to John, getting the book, continue to support. We love you guys out there. Remember to subscribe and share. I'm going to try to be in the field more because I'm doing my tax business now, so I'm a little bit more busier. But I love you guys. Thanks for the support. Talk to John. Click on that. Please get the book. Get the merchandise. Support Section 8 is great. Comment on the video. I love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.